So the Reddit thread about local auth and uh, just lo local network access, uh, access to Plex without internet, it's still ongoing. People don't really seem to understand how it works or even that it, like, believe that it works in general. Um, so hopefully this video will clear it up a little bit. I'm going to be using my mobile Plex server uh, to simulate an isolated network in a, uh, I guess, a closed loop or closed situation, uh, just like a, you know, a simulated mini network. Um, the gear I'm using is very, very low end and very, very simplistic. Um, so it's not like I'm using a lot of advanced features here or anything. I'm literally using just stock everything. I'm not using any particular router firmware. I'm not doing anything special in Plex. Um, I'm not even signed into the Plex server that's running right now. So I'm just going to do a quick hardware, uh, you know, just like hardware overview and setup, And then, uh, just prove to you that I'm not connected to the internet, anything like that. Um, so I've got my Intel compute stick and I've got a power lead here. Just powers this guy. HDMI is going back to the monitor. Um, I've got a four port USB hub with, this is the, uh, the data cable for the four terabyte hard drive that's right here. So data goes from here into here. And then this, this data cable actually has a split for power because, um, this USB port on this guy doesn't provide enough power to power this on its own. So that's all that is. Um, I'm using a five port, uh, like, like phone charger thing. It's not a battery. It's just a, a wall, wall plug. Um, so anyway, in this guy, I have, uh, ethernet and I'll tell you where that goes in a second. And then just my Logitech mouse and keyboard combo receiver. So only three things plugged into the USB hub here. So ethernet from here goes to the mini router, which is right here. And that again, gets plugged into this guy just for power. Um, I'm not using bridge mode or anything like this or anything like that on this. I'm just using the regular router mode. And I'll show you that on the, uh, on the screen here in a second. Um, so ethernet just goes to this for the LAN port, as you can see. It's in the LAN port, nothing's in the WAN port. So basically it's acting as a wireless switch. Anything that connects to this will just be on the same network as what the server is. Um, and again, nothing's going out of the WAN port to connect to the internet. Um, this is the router setup screen. It's very, very basic. Um, I can see what clients have been connected. Right now the only thing that's connected is uh, my server, which I just nicknamed Starscream. So you can see that Starscream right here is dot one, two, three. Uh, it's one, nine, two, one, six, eight, dot eight, dot one, two, three. And then the wireless network, <clears throat> excuse me, it's called Soundwave. And it just says, you know, it's dot eight, dot one. I'm using uh, WPA2. And then on the internet settings, there's no repeater connection, so I'm not connected to any other wireless network uh, in my house. And then if you look at the internet connection settings down here, you can see I have limited network con connectivity. Uh, and I open this, it's gonna try to browse for stuff. There's no internet and Wi-Fi is turned off. And we can test this by going this is just the local Plex server. Um, so we'll try going to YouTube or Reddit or something like that. And we can see site can't be reached. So gonna just close the Plex thing here real quick. So anyway, let's open the Plex server. This is a local IP 127.0.0.1. It says an unclaimed media server has been found on your network. Okay, because I'm not signed in. But regardless, um, we can go to the settings up here. Click on server. And we can see not signed in. 
Remote access obviously is not available. First, you have to sign in for that. Uh, going to go down to network. And the only option I have in network, well, I guess this is a default option, so enable local network discovery. <clears throat> and then list of IP addresses and networks that are allowed without auth. And in that, I have 192.168.8.0 and then the subnet mask, which allows any IP address uh, up to 254 on that network to use the server without authorization uh, or auth not authorization, auth authenticating. Um, and that's pretty much it. So I have my content on here, which this, again, this isn't the fastest thing in the world. Um, I'm using a 2.4 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi network and an Intel Atom and a USB hard drive. So, I mean, there's a lot of uh, bottle, bottlenecks and bandwidth constraints here. Um, but I'll show you on my phone. So, I'm connected right now to my home network, which is Overwatch. And we'll open up Plex. And I can see my server. So, this is my home server. I can see my local local phone here's my synced content all right so now let's switch to you know what I'll even forget the home network so no chance that it'll connect back to this guy again forget that and then automatically connected to Soundwave because that's a, one of the safe networks. So again, I shouldn't have any internet. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand. Yep, okay, site can't be reached. So we'll open up Plex again. Back on my uh, local phone here. Let's switch that guy. There's the server, Starscream, nearby. Click on it. Looks okay. Literally the exact same thing. And okay, so you're gonna say, well, you're logged in. All right, well, let's sign out. Settings, account, sign out. I'll even close the apps. Close all the apps. Don't need your intro. So, local phone, no other servers nearby. Not even signed in. And look, it's exactly the same. You're gonna say, oh, well your mobile data, well, <laughs> that doesn't affect anything because the server is not reachable from outside the network. It's not even connected to the internet. So the only way that this is getting piped to the phone is through the Wi-Fi. Now, using this on a uh, like a computer with Plex Media Player is a little different, but it still works. So again, connected to my home server right now. Um, I'm gonna just quit Plex Media Player. If I can quit it. Yeah, it's quit. Okay. So again, I'm connected to Overwatch. Going to let's see if I can forget it. Okay. All right, connected to Soundwave. We'll apply that setting. OpenPlex Media Player. Okay, so Plex is not reachable. Uh, nothing spectacular there. We knew that that was going to happen. It uh, says you can open settings, manual servers to configure 
To manually configure your server's IP address, remember servers signed in with a Plex account have additional security and don't allow connections from devices that are not signed in. Uh, I don't believe I'm even signed in on this uh, Plex Media Player anyway. Um, so let's open the settings, click on manual servers, and what we'll do here is we'll find our server's IP, which we determined was, oops, wrong thing. 192.168.8.123. Yeah, we have phone. Thank you. 192.168.8.123. Okay. Close that. And then we'll hit go home and see if it works. Go by M. It's Starscream and all the content that's on Starscream. And I don't even believe I'm signed in on here. Um, it's not the easiest thing to check. <clears throat> so anyway, hopefully this clears up some confusion. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be people saying, "Oh, well, it doesn't work for me," and you know, like, you know, that's that's what happens anyway. Uh, but if it doesn't work for you. Uh, run through some of the troubleshooting steps. If it continues to not work and you're having trouble with it, make a Reddit post. Make, uh, you know, like fill out one of the troubleshooting templates, post it on Reddit, and say, I can't get this to work because it's not, I mean, it's not a feature that's obscure. It's something that people could use all the time. Um, and it's something that should work fairly uh, simply and fairly easily. So hopefully this cleared up some confusion, and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, I'd be more than happy to demonstrate, uh, you know, like functionality and things like that. Uh, if you have any questions about this setup, I'm going to be doing a whole video on this. This is my mobile plex setup, and I'll be doing a, a fun video on that um, in the future. But I thought it would be a neat little exercise to show that even with crappy hardware and stuff like that, it works. Um, so yeah. I will see you guys next time.